I met the Kalahar family who had just arrived from Houston, Texas, whose youngest son, Beckham, underwent MCEL's personalized treatment protocol for autism. This is Beckham's father, Matt, and his mother, Terry. While there on day three, I had the privilege to meet Dr. Alexei Karpenko, the original co-founder and partner at MCEL. Yes, uh, you see, with autism, uh, with autism we have uh, rather positive results, but the only thing that uh, I should warn you, this will not be, most probably, complete recovery. Uh, most of his function will benefit, but full recovery uh, we have not observed. We understand. We understand. We, we, we're seeking quality of life improvement. Yes. Okay. I wish you success. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Considering that autism currently strikes one in every 45 children in the United States, costing each family supporting a child with autism over the course of his or her lifetime as much as $2.4 million to care for such a diagnosis, I was quite interested in seeing how Beckham fared after fetal stem cell treatment. So, four months later, I traveled to the Kelahar's hometown of Houston, Texas to see if Beckham had made any progress. We had a lot of aggression. Beckham would scratch me, he would bite me. Mm -hmm. So I would go to bed nightly and I would have bloody sheets. I would have scratch marks. They would be on my face, my back, wherever. I'm talking full on biting, full on scratching, full on bruising, all gone. We had no eye contact. I would try to get in his face, Becca, Becca, Becca. In his world. He would just look straight past me. He'd look straight past you. It was, it, it, was, it, was it was really, really, really difficult. But yeah. the eye contact was absolutely not there, period. It, it was even more than that. When you looked in his eyes, it was almost as if you were looking in his eyes and you, were, you weren't seeing any. Nobody was home. He wouldn't respond to his name. He wouldn't respond to anything. And it was pretty drastic when that happened. Almost immediately after he had his stem cell transplant, we saw changes. He had this terrible eczema everywhere, all over his skin. Within three days, it was gone. I have fought that eczema for years with prednisone, you name it. I've tried dietary changes. Mm -hmm. It was gone. His skin was clear. His eyes turned bright. All of a sudden, these smiles I had not seen in years. We started swimming. He could not swim before. He gets his head underwater. He loves it. Before his stem cell transplant, he would not walk for me. I always had to carry him. He would just block my body and refuse to walk. I couldn't walk him around the block at three. I had to have a stroller. All of a sudden, he's walking. He walks now, holds my hand like a neurotypical child, and we walk. We can walk in the park. I can walk with him to the grocery store, to the mall. Um, that might not seem like a big deal mm -hmm. to parents that are used to it, but for those that aren't able to have a child walk, it's a huge deal. So the fact that I could do that made my life so much easier. So I'm not holding a 45 pound kid, 18 bags of groceries. I mean, it, it, that's, it's really miserable and difficult. So um, that was another huge thing. He's just so much more receptive to a different idea, which was not the case before. Go up. Oh, oh. there you are. He can now motor plan. If he has an idea, that was not there before. His cognitive levels have increased significantly. That's good. Nice. That's good. You go fast? Fast. Oh, go spin fast. I've definitely seen him become more flexible because he would want to do things only the way he wanted to do it and we couldn't get um, any um, change or new ideas and new ideas was really hard for us since then. He's giving me a lot more new ideas. He's doing much better with some language. And he's also started to motor plan things. So the other day, Terry was here. He saw this, and the ramp was on the other side of the room. And he went to try and get the ramp. He's never, ever had a plan about how he was going to do a task. So that was very novel and very new for him. So we've definitely seen progress in lots of di different areas. <laughs>
So I've been working with him since he was 18 months old, so it's almost three years now. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's also giving him the feeling of where his body is in space. So how do I learn to plan and to figure out how to do things by having a really good internal body awareness? Yeah. There you are, ready? Yeah. So every day it's something new where we're both shocked. Since the Kelahar family was making the trek to M-Cell for Beckham's autism, they decided to see if fetal stem cells would also benefit their oldest son, Matt Jr. My older son has um, convergence insufficiency and ADHD. I never thought he would make it into college. I was very skeptical, very skeptical. It's helped me tremendously with just one treatment. Uh, in terms of school, I've I've gone from middle school, I've had and then high school as well. Almost flunking, staying up till two in the morning with my parents just so they could help me because I couldn't even do it myself. Till now, I'm making straight A's and B's, uh, which is phenomenal. Um, and then I'm looking in for the the future semesters to take on a larger workload because it seems more doable, more possible. So you're saying in the four month time that you're making better grades than you ever have? Yeah. Actually, beneficial, yeah, absolutely. Without taking medication now, at least winging off the dosage, I would go from pills like Vyvanse, ADHD, um, Adderall. In these past four months, it's been tremendously helpful. One of the most important things he ever said to me was, Mom, thank you so much. Thank God I don't feel dumb anymore. While Matt Jr. received fetal stem cells in hopes of finding relief for his ADHD, he was also suffering from an overactive bladder and chronic skin conditions. Uh, always having these urge, I guess, urinate every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day entirely uh, to about two months after. I haven't had the urge at all. Uh, between my skin, I've had acne, I've had uncontrollable, it was bacterial acne. Uh, I've tried the strongest things up to Accutane, as high as you could go on it, like the dosage. It would mess up my liver, it would make me feel terrible. Uh, but honestly, in the past two months, I've had skin, my skin's cleared up on my shoulders, my back, uh, mostly around my entire face. It's a tremendous difference, as well as all the eczema around the eyes mainly, and then the arms. I've had blotches around the arms, uh, where now it's completely gone, and it's just phenomenal, it's crazy. And it's only been one treatment. So we realized there was nothing that mainstream medicine had. We'd been to absolutely every doctor we possibly could. I feel like we made the right choice. We did. There's no did. doubt in my mind. We, we had a lot of information to, to sift through and like everybody else in, in seeking information and trying to be well informed, it took us literally eight months just to weed through what we thought would be the best option for us. I cannot say how thrilled I am with the results. It's one thing to have everyone around Beckham notice such great improvements after getting fetal stem cell therapy just four months prior. And it's another to review the results of his autism spectrum test, or ADOS2. We obtained these test results from Beckham's neurologist. Beckham's last ADOS2 test was in December of 2013, where he scored a 22, which fell into the moderate to severe range on the autism spectrum. However, while I was visiting the Kelahars in November of 2016, another ADOS2 test was performed, which revealed a score of 15, a seven point reduction, showing Beckham now in the moderate autism spectrum. These results occurred after only one round of fetal stem cell therapy. Beckham has not been taking any medications during this time. I'm so excited. I can't even, it's, it's so exciting. For the it's first strong. time, I see the light in the end of the tunnel. I see a light. I haven't seen a light in a long time.